All right guys, still on the Florida Keys here, launching by the house we're staying at today. Uh, it's blowing like southeast 10 to 20, maybe, you know, around that range. I went off the dock here this morning and I grabbed myself about, let's say, a uh, dozen of these guys. All right, we're gonna start this morning off probably trolling some Barracuda tubes right now. Then we'll get into some turf that I think might be uh, worth the time to uh, drop those pinfish. Alright, so I got my my barracuda tube on here. Gonna head up into some of those mangrove areas with those live pinfish, I think. You don't find a snook, that's possible. I know there's a few of those guys around sometimes. Consider today to be a kind of a throwaway day because we got this wind. So um, I'll see how these live pinfish do with a couple of strategies. Probably gonna just free line them. That's what I think, and maybe slow troll them, etc. Yeah, that wind's blowing. This is gonna be the kind of day we're gonna have, I guess. Oh, that's a big barracuda, man. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's go run him down, fellas. He's got a crab pot right there I gotta watch out for. Oh, did he get me in it? Let me see, I gotta run him down, guys. I don't like that. Oh, he's got me in it. Damn it. I'm sure he went around this side of it, so let's be careful. There we go. Good start. <laughs> I'm almost afraid to hook a tarpon again with these things. Light Barracuda. You almost had me in that pot. You didn't catch my shark, did you? Hell no. I won't be surprised if a shark comes and tries to nibble him. I got something for him back here. I'll distract him. Oh, that's a big one. Sweet. What you got there? The old Barry. Big cooter. Big Barry's here. I didn't take long. No, oh, that's a good sign. Maybe today is the better day of them. Not done yet. I thought you didn't like bites that lasted more than 15 minutes. I don't. <laughs> I'm just inviting him to be shark bait. Oh, man. 
Alrighty. Yeah. It's definitely a good one. These things are dangerous though. I think he's pooped. He's got seaweed hanging out him. Yeah, it'll be easy for me to release him. Just gotta make sure I don't get a hook in me right here. I know. He ain't done yet. Kind of okay. You want to hold this thing. Uh, I've done that a couple bunch of times at this point. If I lose them right here, that's okay. Okay. Look at that head. How <laughs> <laughs> would you like to have that thing nibble on your toes while oh, you're swimming God. on the beach? Oh man. Oh, oh. hooked them with the other one. Yeah. Good start to my day. Didn't even get my live pinfish out there. All right, pretty good start right here. It's a barracuda. Probably somewhere in that 40 inch class for sure. <laughs> First light. Let's get you out of there. Look at those teeth, man. That's a good one for to start it all out, man. man. He's gone. Oh my God, he's just... There he goes. That's awesome, man. <laughs> I wouldn't say those barracuda. Those barracuda seem to be kind of sparsely distributed. I'm, I'm honestly just getting one here and there. So they're kind of like lone wolf assassins out here, it seems like. They're not quite everywhere on the flats. I'm sure other areas are riddled with them. I think most people think they're a nuisance. Okay, so right here I've got a, I think it's a 2-0 circle hook. So it's a small circle hook. It's a gummy. Kind of under the assumption I got to use a circle hook for any live bait fishing is kind of what I thought when I when I read it all. All right, if we start getting cooted left and right, we'll keep moving. But I figure I'm just gonna slow troll them. You know, under two miles an hour is definitely ideal. So I think I've used about three so far. So I'm gonna use too many in here to these barracudas because I don't have too many with me. Pack maybe half a dozen. We're gonna fish this afternoon probably. I'm gonna get off the water and hour or two. It's supposed to get a little bit nicer around three o'clock, so I think that's what I'm thinking. All right, let's make a move. Not seeing anything on these pinfish spots. That's a beautiful sized pinfish, man. It tells me I don't think there's much I can do with that. Right here I've got a deep marina, or might have a few fish. I don't know if it's a marina or it's kind of, I guess you could call it a marina. I wouldn't quite call it a marina, but a dredged out area. How's that sound? That's the term I'd use. All right, let's move through here nice and slow. Let's see what happens. Let's see what this is. Got him. A small black grouper. Cool. Thump my pinfish right there. Yep. Oh, he spit him out. <laughs> Rest in peace, pinfish. All right, just one small black grouper here. I'll try a different area with these pinfish. Let's head back to the house. Let's go back out in the afternoon when the wind's supposed to lay down a little more. That's what I'm thinking here. All right, well, that was kind of quiet. Um, I threw those pinfish around docks and stuff. I feel like the usual suspects, you know, docks, uh, rocky areas. Uh, we'll see this afternoon. Maybe I'll fish some docks closer to the passes. So maybe there's better water exchange. It's super windy right now and pretty warm. I'm gonna wait till that three o'clock time and uh, give it a go. So hang on. All right, the afternoon 
the afternoon trip begins. Uh, I got myself a good assortment of bait in here. Some pilchards. Hopefully some of these guys make it for a little while. They're starting to beat themselves up. So I'm going to use those pilchards first and then uh, the pinfish after that. Hopefully catch a couple of good fish. I'm going to go right back to that tarpon area. Why am I going to that tarpon area? Tomorrow we have a big front coming through. That's going to be my last shot at the, the poon. So got myself some 40 pounds. Uh, not 40 pounds, 60 pound leader, a couple good hooks, and uh, let's try it, right? I'm going to troll uh, my barracuda tube on the way over, but let's try to hook a tarp, and I bet you we won't hook anything good. You know, I got to fish silly stuff, barracuda tubes, 20 pound leader, and this is lower Matacumba key. Let's get them. All right, let's troll the tube on the way over to where we're going. That's a good choice. I'm sure these barracuda are going to feed this evening pretty well with that coming cold front. It's an improv live well right here. Like it. Open the drain plug. Fill up the water. That's my patented live well system. You know, just in case you're, uh, if you're like me, you know, you don't have a fully rigged live well for your kayak kind of want to get one probably so thanks for everyone watching these keys videos they seem to be more algorithmically friendly than my my north carolina videos i love fishing north carolina i love fishing the keys too but it seems like uh there's a big audience that enjoys the, the keys content i've put out in the last few years so thanks to everyone who's there for that and thanks to everyone who's here all the time try not to be the biggest algorithm fisherman out of the bunch i want to make sure that this is um i'm fishing for the reasons i started fishing still you know what i'm saying oh oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah well, i was working on the live well Big barracuda right there, man. <laughs> Ooh, that run. All right. Yeah, we gotta be a little bit careful. He can get me in that dock right here. Big bastard. Oh my gosh, that's a pass jump, man. Just working on my, my live well there. That's a nice fish, man. I don't care what you say about these guys. I think that's an awesome fish right there. Tubes out. It almost smell like a, a garbage truck when you're driving down the road and it goes by. You can get my respect, pal.
they go down all creepy like see them swimming away i don't have barracuda you know inshore where i live i wish we had barracuda uh, like that you know i gotta go out there to get them on the kayak so that it's not as fun in my opinion one of the things with the, these barracuda tubes is um you need a ball bearing swivel otherwise your line will be shot before you know it it's like using a tarpon for bait all right we're just gonna slow troll slow a lot of these fish seem to be meh on the pinfish like they'll eat them sometimes but i think these silvery fish might be more what they're looking for Poultry got nervous there. It's a new fill bike. I don't think that was a tarpon I missed. Yeah, that had to be a grouper hookup earlier. Thinking that's what that was. Am I getting bit here? Maybe? Yep. Barracuda. Little one. Oh my god, it's a barracuda. Where is it? It is. Same slimy I'm effort. Killing all my baits. Taking all my chunks. Not cool, dude. Yeah, it had to be a big barracuda. Not much besides barracudas on live bait. I mean, I could go to lighter leader, but get some more bites, but I don't think that's a good idea. Pinfish, I think those were all, all those bites we had were barracudas and a one, I think one was a big barracuda, but the rest were all, Another bite was probably a goliath, honestly. So Justin told me he hooked up to hammerhead on these flats. So got one barracuda, two barracuda this afternoon. Lost that third one. It was a very fast run. I don't think that was a goliath trooper or a tarpon. It would have jumped. And then uh, lost a goliath. I, I think that, that had to be a goliath trooper. And that dog. Yeah, I'm trolling around trying to get one last bite before the sun goes down. That's my move. Seen a couple pods of bait getting worked right now. Oh, we on. We found the Cuda. Easy Cuda. Oh my god. Oh, he spit it. <laughs> Sick jump. There's actually less of these big ones on the flats than you'd think. It's like one here and there. It's not loaded. You would think it'd be super easy to hook these giants with these tubes. Just, yeah, I'll get one bite here and there. All right, this looks like one of the few spots that would have a snook, honestly, that I noticed. There's a handful of other ones, but I'm thinking maybe I can get a, a sunset snook here. Or I'll probably just get more barracudas. 
I know snook here can be kind of elusive around these parts, so. Look at the teeth marks. Jeez. Jeez. Not too many teeth marks towards the tail end. I told you, they really like to hit mid, mid tube. Good gracious. So much for my idea that I think there's gonna be a snook here. Is there a thousand small barracudas there? Is that all that this I'm dealing with here? Yeah, that's gotta be a barracuda too. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky and get a non-barracuda in the mix here. I'm starting to feel like they're all barracudas though. This is. Feels like it's a nice fish. Oh, juvenile grouper. It's a black grouper. Heck yeah, that's pretty cool. Hate that live pinfish. Got a short black grouper over there on a live uh, pinfish. It was pretty shallow, probably in five feet of water or so. Had a couple other bites. So many barracudas everywhere. I don't know how. What's what's the best way to do this on the kayak is to be prepared for X amount of barracudas out here. All right. Well, I headed back to the house now. Um, check the video's description. Links to everything we used. My barracuda tubes are made by a old pal of mine. We used to strike bass fish together, and uh, he uses moldable wire in his tubes. Um, I'm not sure, you know, how many he makes, but it seems like it makes a big difference to have uh, the moldable wire in the tube, so you get a little bit better shape to them. I am really curious if they work for King Mackerel after hooking that um, uh, tarpon on, uh, on one, because uh, the barrack the tubes are, uh, the shorter tubes are popular mackerel lore, Spanish mackerel. Um, it'll be something I have to try in North Carolina when I get back sometime. It's um, I'd love to, I'm curious if they if they work for Kings or Spanish or either one. Maybe it's something I'd try when I, when I know there's good, a good Spanish bite to see if I can get some of those monster Spanish on them. So if the, if the kudas kill them, and the kudas can be pretty particular, believe it or not, but this might just be one of those things that kudas love, those eel lore, that eel type of lore, so. That's what's going through my head, so. All right, I'm losing light. I doubt we'll get any more bites now. Yeah, and we have a big front coming tomorrow, so I was thinking today would be the day if I can get one tarp, but I didn't even see one, so. Went back to that area. That was definitely a, you know, one in a million type of hookup, so. But still had a pretty good day today, so. Glad you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch up with you on the next video.